All right, so I'm solving some. I'm doing a video on solving equations with fractional exponents. I'm starting to chuckle a little bit because this is actually my third attempt at making this video. So bear with me. Uh, excuse me, please stop that. And I'm with my wonderful assistant Benjamin, who is should be quiet during this video. So it says four x to the one half minus five x to the three halves. Um, plus x to the 5 halves equals 0. It doesn't look good because of all these exponents, but what I can do is I can take a look, and I'm going to look at the greatest exponent I have, and the greatest exponent I have is 5 halves. So I'm going to say, let w squared equal x to the 5 halves. Well, if w squared equals 5, x to the 5 halves, then just w would be the same as x to the 3 halves. Oh, and that's coincidentally quite excellent because that's what I have. And that would mean that w to the 0 would be x to the 1 half. So now I'm going to rewrite them in a different order. I'm going to write this one first as x to the 5 halves, but I'm not going to say x to the 5 halves. I'm going to say w squared. Right? And this is w to the first, and this is w to the zero. So I'm going to have minus 5w plus 4 to the w to the zero equals 1. Well, when I do that, I'm going to rewrite w. I'm not even going to write w to the zero because I know that w to the zero equals 1. So I'm just going to get rid of that. But that's where it went. It's not like it just disappeared. It became a 1, and 4 times 1 is 4. So now, and that should be a zero. And so now I have this trinomial, and this is super easy to solve. And I'm going to say w minus 4 and w minus 1. Therefore, w minus 4 equals 0, or w minus 1 equals 0. I get w equals 4, or w equals 1. Or, yes, 1. But here's the deal. The problem is, we didn't start with w's. We started with x's. So I had to go back, and I had to substitute back in. And now I'm going to say x to the 3 halves equals 4, or x to the 3 halves <laughs> equals 1. By, by, no, I'm not saying that, thank you. So now, by raising them both to the 2 thirds power, I'm able to get x by itself, because 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 times 3 is 6, so I get 6 over 6, which is x to the first. Here I get 4 to the 2 thirds, which is really the cubed root of 4 squared. So x equals the cubed root of 16. Or, here I'm going to raise x to the 3 halves to the 2 thirds power. And then I'm going to do 1 to the 2 thirds power. But 1 to the 2 thirds power is really the cubed root of 1 squared. No, I should make that try to look like a 1 squared, which is 1. So your two solutions are x equals 1 or x equals the cubed root of 16. The key is, the key to solving uh, <laughs> equations with fractional exponents is to try to identify the largest exponent and then seeing if you could rewrite that in terms of w squared or some substitution and then working backwards go down to w to the first and seeing if that gives you your next exponent which with a little luck it will and if you have three exponents you have to go all the way down and see if that yields your final exponent and that's it hopefully this will be the last time i make this video i hope you enjoyed it